Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Seeing as my vape tongue is still on the men, I thought I'd jump down and give you guys a wick and bill tutorial on one of the more common RDAs on the market. I'm gonna be doing it on the drop today and it's got a pretty universal deck. So you can kind of take what I've taught you and apply it to what you've got. First, I'll run over all the gear you need to start building and then we'll dive down. I'll build it, wick it, and I won't tell you what I think because I don't know because my tongue. So the first thing you're gonna need is some long nose pliers. You can pick them up at your vape store with a bill kit or you could get them from any hardware store. The second thing you're gonna need is some wire clippers. I think that's what they're called. That's what I call them. Thirdly, you're gonna need some scissors to cut your cotton, a tri tool to screw it all together, a three millimeter diameter bar to straighten your coils. Also some tweezers for fanning out your cotton. And lastly, the most important thing in my book is your ceramic tweezers for brushing out the hot spots in your coils. So now that we've gone over the tools, I'll take you down, I'll build and wick it for you so you can learn how to do it for yourself. So here we have the drop, which is by Digiflavor, but yeah. So first you wanna do is you wanna pop that top cap off. We've got a post style deck, so your coils do not go across that way, they go across sideways. So you wanna grab your coil, you want your coil to be sitting a little bit off the top there. So we're gonna cut a little bit off. So that's where our wire cutters come in. With the drop, because the airflow is coming in from the side, we do wanna build it straight up from our post just so you get better flavor. So what I kind of normally do is I chuck this thing in. This thing, I would call this the, it's a, <laughs> a bar. We'll call it a bar. So you wanna tighten up a little bit so that it's got a bit of restriction. And then I would lift it just straight up so that we're not creating a short. And just tighten it all the way. Most of your kits kind of come with one of these tri tools in. If you're freaking out going, oh, I don't know where to find a little screwdriver. They generally have them. Here's one coil on. So it's going straight up. We've got a little bit of height. Today I'm using some Northern Lights coils. Pick them up from, I think the vape shop in Wellington. So we'll just do the same with this coil. Snip it a little bit shorter, we can always clean it up. You don't want to cut it too short, because then it's a waste of your coil. Set this other coil in, do the same thing, straighten it up, and then I push down on it with my finger, screw that up. Not all the way, just so there's a little bit of resistance on the coil lead itself. We just want to lift that up just a little bit, just tighten it down. So here we've got two coils sitting just above the post. You want them to be sitting right above there, otherwise it's gonna short if it's touching there, and you just don't want it touching the side of the wall. So now that we've got those, these little leads in here, we're just gonna clip them off. So another thing that I do once I have snipped those leads is I look in there and see, I think we've actually got a couple little bits of metal in there. I would get in there, Pull that out, because that can actually sit across your negative and positive plate like that and create a hard short, which is not good, especially if you're running it on a mechanical mod. If you're just learning to build anyway, I would definitely, definitely play with your regulated devices first. So now we're up to the part where we'll chuck this onto my mod with batteries in it. Got it on the legend here. Oh, well, you want to start heating them up at around 30 watts, I think. So. It's saying that it's at 0.19. Now you want to always make sure it's at the right ohms when you start heating it up. And then as you heat it up, it's going to start changing to its normal ohms. So I think these ones are supposed to sit around 0.15. So these are when your ceramic tweezers come in. If you start using a metal tweezer, you're going to get a short. Start heating it up and then start strumming your coils. See how they're heating up from the outside? We need to get that nice glow coming from the inside. So basically we're strumming, we're getting all the hot spots out. Make sure you're not touching them while you're doing this. They do burn, it does happen. There we go. So now we wanna wait for those to cool down and get our cotton ready. I've got Best Choice Boss Device, 100% natural. There are some preloaded cotton strips in there. So good if you're a new builder. In here, you'll have cotton. Once we've got a piece of cotton, is we just roll one side up real tight like that. Feed that through there. You want a little bit of restriction. So you pull your piece through, you kind of go, and then when you start getting a bit tight, pull it back a little bit on the edge here. I don't measure this bit up so much. I just kind of get the pieces in there. Then you want to chuck a piece through the other one. That feels good to me. Cut that off again. With the drop, you're wanting your cotton to sit right down at the bottom of your juice well. So what I do is I just pull that down here 
and I look if that's kind of close so you need that to be a little bit longer you want it kind of just tucking over the edge like that and then this side too pull it down you kind of eye it up give it a snip cut that to the same length get our tweezers we just this cotton comes already out pretty fluffy I don't really like to mess around with it too much give it a bit of a buff fluff it out a little bit I think I've just probably cut these a bit long so I'm take about it and then what you want to do grab your cotton chuck it down in there just like so another important thing is to make sure that you've got no cotton locking your airflow which is going to go right on your coil there straight through that gap so now that we've got that all tucked in I'm going to wet it up some juice I'm going to be using Joe's Cloudhouse Raspberry Peach. It's a raspberry peach flavor, and Joe's Cloudhouse is based in Dunedin. So there's your build tutorial. I hope you learned something. If you want to see more, subscribe. So let's jump back up top, and I'll give her a test. Turns out my flavor is coming back a little bit. If you saw my last video, if you get Vapor's Tongue, try those tips out because they are working. Just remember, there's heaps of products out there. Find what's right for you. If what's stopping you is the lack of knowledge of knowing how to build or what to buy, do your research, find it out, get off the durries because I guarantee your life will be better on the vape. Kia kaha, stay strong and vape on. So now that we've got the tools out of the way, we're going to dive down and I'm going to show you how to bick, bick, bick.